video cast number four, Dutch oven cooking simplified. I'm a big fan of Dutch oven cooking. Many troops out there don't use Dutch ovens and I can totally respect that decision. If you are a backpacking troop or you focus on over the coal cooking, I probably won't change your mind, but that's okay. Today's video is about how to make Dutch oven cooking easier if you plan on doing it in the first place. So let's start with the Dutch oven itself. Regardless of the oven you want to use, make sure that it has a lid that securely closes. This is to keep the heat and the juices in it. There are tons of videos about buying Dutch ovens, seasoning ovens. I even saw one where the presenter chopped off the little legs on the bottom of the oven and was very proud of it. If you love Dutch oven cooking, YouTube is a wealth of information that you can find anything you want to do about Dutch ovens. I have two Dutch ovens, a relatively small 8 inch and a medium 12 inch oven. My troop also has two 16 inch ovens. The size is in direct proportion to what you're trying to do with it. If you're just going to play with a little dump cake, the 8 inch is fine. If you're cooking for 10 plus people, you need the larger ovens. For anyone who's cooked anything in one and has come across the need to clean it afterwards, this is a big detraction to the oven, especially out in the woods where you don't have running water. That's why I always use Dutch oven liners. Dutch oven liners are parchment liners. They're cheap, costing about $5 for about eight liners. When you're done cooking, you simply pull the liner out and the entire gunk comes right out and you just throw it away. I keep my liners right inside the oven. When I store the oven, I keep the liners, a pot holder right inside, and I also take a piece of paper towel folded over a couple of times to keep it from sealing during storage. This keeps the moisture from building up and reduces the need to reseason it. One of the other great pieces of technology is a Dutch oven helper app. The app store has a few of them and for the price of 99 cents or free for a light version, it can tell you how to arrange the coals based on what you're trying to cook without having to remember all the fancy rules as what to do. Even without the app, if you just remember that each coal is about 25 BTUs of heat to heat something at 325, and most things cook at around 325, you need 13 coals. If you were at home and cooking on the stove, put most of the coals on the bottom. If it was at home and you were putting it in an oven, put some of the coals on top. If it's cold out, put a couple more coals on, but this is what works for us. Take what you like, leave the rest, and as we say in Wood Badge, feedback is a gift. Leave yours below in the comments with all the hope we can learn together. I'm Scoutmaster Dave, and this was Dutch Oven Cooking Simplified.